Welcome to the Industrial Protection Analysis video tutorials. My name is Luci and I would like to welcome you to my channel. In this video you will learn how to go from a single line diagram to an electrical model ready to be used for electrical analysis. Let's open up the ETAP software. When you first open the ETAP software you will need to click on the file drop down menu and select new project or open project. We will select a new project. This project we'll call SLD. Here you have the unit system and we will pick the English system. The user information I leave default. You can change if you like. Same with the access level. Once the ETAP software has loaded you'll see a multitude of buttons but have no fear we'll go over the most important ones to help us accomplish our goal of designing an electrical model starting from the left side of the screen we have a series of buttons which make up the system toolbar next we have the system manager this is where is a graphical tree representation that includes presentations configuration study cases libraries and components associated with the project. Let's move to the top of the screen. Again here, the, one of the most uh, important uh, toolbars is this bar here, uh, is the mode bar toolbar. We start in the edit mode, but it, once we build our model, we can move to the other different modes. In a future video, we will do the load flow mode. Next, um, to the right, we have the element toolbar. And the elemental bar includes, includes AC and DC components. Again, let's take a look at the, our single line diagram, which we'll, we will use as our roadmap. On this um, single line diagram, the major components we are concerned are, are the utility, several name buses, a couple of transformers, a variable frequency drive, and a couple of motors. As we place components on the single line diagram, I will show you the two most common ways to create the electrical model. First, uh, from the element toolbar, we can place uh, components. We can select components such as the power grid. Now, you can say, click it once and you'll see it uh, highlighted, or you can double click it. You can place multiple components of the same. So I'll click it once and I'll uh, do that, place it. Now, what I want to do is uh, rename this to utility and I want to give the rating of the bus because this will update our buses as we do them and we don't have to come back and redo it later. Um, I will also add a short circuit and uh, as you know this is the X over R ratio and we will see the uh, short circuit amps uh, now these are in kiloamps so we'll I'm gonna make sure I just use kiloamps Next, I will place a bus, and um, I'm going to click the connection point pin at the bottom of the power grid device and drag it down to my bus. As you noticed, this has changed uh, for, uh, to 13.8 kV. I can also rename it to my switchgear SWGR-001. I can give it the rating, and this will be a switchgear and there's 1200 amps and um, I'm gonna tell it uh, to I'll make it uh, 50 so um, um, click OK now I'm gonna show you the auto build tool click on the auto build tool you have to make sure that you have selected a component and based on this component you will be placing other components so based on our single line we show a voltage breaker so we'll select that next we will put a transformer once you have placed the transformer we will update it with the values so this is transformer 001 its rating is uh, so notice that this primary rating is 13.8 kV secondary rating is going to be 4.16 this is 5 MVA as per our single line, but there's another set of uh, values, it's 6.25. So to get the 6.25, we do the class. 
uh, and that makes this a 6.25 uh, fan rating. Impedance, uh, we will put typical values. If you have nameplate data, you may use nameplate data. Also grounding. The grounding in this transformer is uh, resistor grounded and we're going to put in 400 amps and uh, it will automatically calculate the ohms. Um, I like to also do the symbols, click the symbols box. So notice that they, you've got the symbols and you've got the transformer. I'm going to disable the auto build. Sometimes it gives you things that um, act funny. So I will drag down from my pin to the next bus. Notice that this bus has changed to bus number two called it switchgear SWGR. WGR002 4.6 its rating will be a switch gear we'll make it 1200 amp continuous again this will make it uh, 50k um, all right so now I can turn the auto build back on and uh, I can pick my breaker I will uh, add the VFD and I will finally add my motor now I forgot to add a breaker so what I'll do is I will disable my auto build and add my breaker back here now um, I'm gonna select my switch gear 138 and I'm gonna click enable my auto build again and with that I'm gonna put another breaker and that will give me my second rung on this one I've got another transformer now this transformer is different from my first one and that, that it's a low voltage transformer this is my transformer 002 the rating is, again is 13.8 but it's before 0.48 make sure this 0.48 we will choose uh, KVA and I'll call this a 2500 KVA transformer again um, so with this transformer there is no fan rating so we'll, we'll leave that alone. We'll pick an impedance. Uh, default values. Grounding. This is solidly grounding. Make sure you have any C here. Solidly grounding. And my symbols. Again, I'll disable the auto build. And I'll pick a bus. And uh, I can also put a breaker in here. Let's just put a breaker. So connect, transform to my breaker. And then... Um, I'm going to select my pick my bus. So now notice this has changed to 480. It's SWGR003. Now this is a low voltage switch gear. So um, the switch gear is rated for a single line 3000 amps. Pick 3000 amps. Now this is RMS. So this RMS is 65k RMS. So we'll, we'll choose that. Okay, next um, we'll add another breaker with the auto build feature. We will add uh, a contactor, the overload relay, and finally the motor. Now um, I'll go back and show you to, how to add some update the components. So click on your components and then uh, rename this motor 002. Now this uh, nameplate data, uh, we can add definitely the nameplate, or in this case, we can just let the uh, ETAP use the library. So this will be, we'll use NEC, and this is 100 horsepower, so that's what I chose. Uh, this other motor uh, is um, MR number one. And play the we we'll call it 1000 horsepower. We'll click OK, and then we can change the VFDs. VFD 001 rating will enter 1000 horsepower. These parameters are based on your vendor data sheets. Once entered, click OK. In this video, I've shown you how to create a single line based on the single line diagram using the ETAP software and how to name components and start populating the components with their respective parameters. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get my latest videos. Also if you found this video helpful, like the video below, 
Don't forget to share the video and of course, leave me comments. I love to hear from you.